All right, guys, how's it going? So this video might be a little bit vague. Uh, it's more of a FYI for your information, for your consideration. Just, uh, you know, keep these open and these open. And, and if something comes up down the line uh, about this uh, particular topic, then we can say, you know, yeah, it was to do with that. You know what I mean? So um, if you're a casual viewer, like a first time viewer coming across here, you're probably like, yeah, we're just going to believe what you say. You know what I mean? It's not like that. You know, like people that have been around here for a long time uh, understand that you've got to be responsible sometimes, you know, when people are telling you things because maybe you're protecting the person that's telling you that or you're protecting the person that's telling them that. Uh, and, and really, it doesn't make any difference to me whether anyone finds this video interesting or not. Um, but the grown-ups and the people that have been around here a long time will listen to what I've got to say and they'll, they'll take it on board and take it as, uh, you know, they, they trust me with what I say. So a few weeks ago, well, I don't know how long ago it was, uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, you'd have to look on the channel. Uh, you know, I've made some videos about Liverpool winning talks with Wolves um, and I've received a series of updates regarding that ever since then. Uh, and I tried to go through this a little bit on a stream yesterday, but... One of the emails I received yesterday about this uh, was very much like, well, you can say this, but you can't say that. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't really know how I can make a video and tell people because they're going to be even more confused than me trying to work my way through the email. So what I can do is, is generalise a few points, maybe, uh, and, and tell you that it's me saying this to you and not anybody else. Um, and I, I just want you, all I want you to do is just to bear in mind if something comes up with wolves during this month, right? Uh, that it's probably relating to what I'm, you know, trying to allude to or talk to you about or stuff like that. Now, first of all, I want to make it very clear that I don't know if anything's going to happen with wolves at all, right? This is purely a laying the foundation should something come up later in the month that says Liverpool are interested at X at Wolves, uh, and you might be able to look, think back and think, oh, I remember Chubbs telling me that, right? So there is, I have a lot of emails about this and um, from, from one person. And I think the best thing to do is, first of all, is think about what players could be available at Wolves. And we've gone over, we've gone over this umpteen times, right? So there's no point going through it all again, but we know, let's stick to this summer. We know that this summer, Liverpool have registered an interest, expressed an interest, spoken to Jess Defute, the, the agency, uh, about a Nuri, the left back at Wolves. Uh, that went very quiet, all right? And we've not heard anything since then, as far as I'm aware. And it sounded like the digits, digits didn't add up. What does it mean when, if the digits don't add up? It could be a transfer fee, but if there's a contract release clause, then... Even a contract release, we might say, well, it's too high. You know, we're not paying the contract release clause. We want to pay less. It could be salary. It could be money involved in an agent. But it sounded like Eight Nuri was someone that Liverpool are interested in, but maybe not like looking at as like a primary target. Maybe like one of those like, well, we're going to concentrate on our primary things. Uh, and then, uh, you know, maybe that's a player that we could go back to uh, at some point. Now, um, but, but the 8 Nuri stuff had, had gone quiet. But all I'm trying to do is plant a seed and say to you that, you know, he is a player that Liverpool have definitely inquired about and definitely have spoken about this summer. So they've done more than an inquiry. Um, but I, I'm not aware of them actually, you know, lodging a bid or trying to sign him, if that makes sense. Because just because you're asking about summer, don't mean you want it, right? So, I mean, you might look at a menu, right? And go, whoa, whoa, whoa what's this like? Is it all right? No, I don't quite fancy it. Do you know what I mean? So... That's just something that I want you to consider. There's also Gomez at, uh, at Wolves, who hasn't, that I'm aware of, been subject to, um, oh no, I've got a missed call. Um, well, that's gonna have to wait a minute. Um, oh God. <sighs> missed call. Uh, I've got to continue with this video. Uh, Gomez, right, Gomez. I'm not aware of Liverpool making any inquiries about Gomez. Uh, I'm not aware of Liverpool having any kind of contact with the representation this summer or anything. I have seen him link with us very, very, you know, quietly or weekly um, over the summer. 
And because Liverpool were maybe looking for a player that you know could play in the middle or defensive midfielder, this is a, a this is an exciting player. This is a player if you were saying we're going to pick someone from Wolves that you might look at. So, but there's no suggestion that Liverpool have actually inquired about him. But could he be on? You know, could he be part of an inquiry somewhere? Could be. I don't know, guys. Right. But I'm going through the three players that I want you just to think about. Right. It, no, we know there has been an inquiry. We know there has been talks. Gomez. Who knows? Uh, but you can understand he's a, he's a quality, as Rafa would say, for sure, quality player, right? The other one is Pedro Neto. Now, Pedro Neto has been linked with us forever, right? Do you know what I mean? Forever. There are different, like, linked to us. Anyone can link. You know, one of these numpties on social media could link you with Pedro Neto. Neto. But... On the members' website, on the Cop Talk VIP members' website, we have someone on there that um, is, was close to someone that is, was part of uh, the medical setup uh, at Liverpool Football Club under Jurgen Klopp. I don't know if they're still there or not. I, I don't know. And even if I did, I'd rather still leave it as is, was, whatever, not to be too specific. And I remember them uh, telling us that Liverpool were looking at Pedro Neto. This is going back a while. Uh, and it was claimed that Wolves were willing to do business with us, but Liverpool wanted to have a look at him medically. Not a medical, like a pre, uh, a medical ahead of a transfer. Not one of those medicals, but they just wanted some at checking. Some people seem to think that this doesn't happen, and why would that happen? But if Wolves were ready to do business, and Liverpool said, well, we want to have a just little check and that, right? Some people don't want to believe that. I would put my life on the person that told me that because I know who they are. They've been with the members' site for years. I know exactly who they are or were connected with within the medical setup at Liverpool and multiple medical claims that they fed to me over the last few years, all correct, right? So why would I doubt this person? You, you make your own minds up, I believe it, right? But nothing came of it. And I always thought that Pedro Neto, that the link would go quiet uh, or the association, you know, Liverpool being interesting would go quiet when Jurgen left. It was just a personal opinion. I thought that would happen and it hasn't gone away. Now, Pedro Neto, obviously, because of his medical problems, you'd be, th you'd be thinking like me, why on earth would Liverpool be interested in signing him? There's no suggestion they are interested in signing him. But there are some people behind the scenes that are, are claiming that Liverpool um, are still sniffing around him. I, on a live stream recently on here, uh, I read an article out. It was a well thought out article by an Arsenal fan because Arsenal had been linked with Pedro Neto as well. And this Arsenal fan was putting up the reasons why it would be worth investing in Pedro Neto despite his injury record. And he picked out three fringe players at Arsenal. I don't know who they are, but I'm sure me and you could pick out three fringe Liverpool players. And this, this Arsenal fan said Pedro Neto would play more or has played more than those three fringe players that have stepped in in cup competitions or key Premier League games or whatever, right? So his argument was, one, Pedro Neto, even if he isn't available for the entire season, um, would still have, uh, you know, would be able to contribute a certain amount. I'm getting another call, but they're going to have to wait for me. Um, so it's very off-putting, guys, when I'm getting... Um, when I'm getting bothered. If you could just leave me one, if you could just allow me to have one second, please. Um, and I'll just put it in, in airplane mode for a minute. And that, but then the one behind me will probably start going off, I'm not sure. Right, so. So, he was saying that even at 100% not available all season, Pedro Neto, would put in more appearances and more contribution than these three fringe players. I don't know if you would go along with that, whatever, I don't know, if it was relating to Liverpool, right? The next thing he said was, Pedro Neto is a flair star player for Wolves. Therefore, when other teams come to play Wolves, we have to take Pedro Neto out of the game. That means that he's the one player that they will target, you know, crunching tackles, put him out of the game, shadow him, everything, right? More likely to get injured, right? Because it's Pedro Neto, star player in, in the Wolves team. Pedro Neto within the Arsenal team, which was the example being made, and also the Liverpool team, if you think, would he really get singled out as much because Liverpool and Arsenal have got, you know, class players everywhere? It's not just, well, we'll take that player out and we're laughing, sort of thing. So I could kind of understand that as well. And the next point he said, and the final point, was... 
if he was uh, at Arsenal and he was injured, the pressure wouldn't be on him to be rushed back from injury too soon. Now, if you rush back from injury too soon, that can create further injuries and further problems and setbacks, right? So because Arsenal have got a good squad of players and Liverpool have a good squad of players, there would be no pressure on like, you know, we've got to get Pedro, but he's got to be back, he's got to be back, he's got to be back. Uh, like Wolves need him back. We need him back. He has to play at the weekend, that kind of thing. So more time to recuperate, to recover and so on. So I kind of un understood the argument a little bit as to why it might be worth taking a, a stab at him. But I still think that many of us would go, well, we've already got you know one player or something that's out injured a lot, so why would we do this, right? So I don't know. I don't even know if they're thinking that, you know, whatever, but we can only look at the, the different thing. I, I genuinely don't know, guys, but the Pedro Neto link has always, I swear down, right, if anyone said to me, do you really believe it, that they've been, been interested in being past tense? I would say, yeah, definitely. I do believe Liverpool were looking at trying to sign him at one point. I don't know if that still applies now because we've got a change in manager. He's a head coach. And, you know, the, the structure of everything, I don't know. But people behind the scenes are saying that the interest is still there. Whether you believe them or not is up to you. I, I don't know whether I believe it or not at the moment, to be honest with you. Whereas before I did. Right. So. There's been various claims made to me about Pedro Neto over the last few weeks since I started making those videos. And one was that. Liverpool had inquired about doing some kind of deal uh, on a, with, a, the, with a, a minimum transfer fee that would go up based on appearances, which would make sense. Uh, but this was apparently of no interest to Wolves. Uh, and uh, the, ne the latest thing, the latest suggestion is that, and this is where I've got to be careful, uh, Liverpool are, are still, if you choose to believe this, Again, I don't know whether I do or not. Uh, Liverpool are interested in Pedro Neto uh, and Wolves have, would like to include a Liverpool player in a deal that would include cash from Liverpool, right? As far as I'm aware, I don't think I'm treading on anyone's toes here. I was told I couldn't mention the Liverpool player. Now... I don't think it's rocket science for you to form your own opinions right now as to who Liverpool might be willing to include in a, in a deal, right? Because if you've monitored the news over the last few days, I can think of one Liverpool player that's been linked with this team and that team, and it looks like, uh, you know, Liverpool are willing to, to cash in on this particular player. And maybe if you think about uh, nationalities and, and just I don't know I can't I, I, I've just been told not to say the name of the player I, I I don't know why but I have to respect that do you know what I mean um, but yeah so and then I, what I can read from a, an email yesterday and 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 this the person that's speaking to me about this is he, he's telling me who this person is that's giving them information and I know in what capacity they work at, at that football club, right? You are, am I making it up? I don't, <laughs> don't see what benefit I get from making it up or anything, but you know, some people are like that. Uh, but I think that the people that have been around here for fucking decades uh, will know that what I, will trust me. And that's the most important thing, I think. Anybody else, we don't give a fuck what they think, right? So, uh, Wolves are getting pissed off as LFC seem to be trying to get everything on the cheap or to throw in other players, that's plural, uh, or add ones. Uh, I trust with my life, blah, 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 and, and et cetera, et cetera. That sounds a bit like Liverpool, doesn't it? But also Liverpool, you know, is still, whether you whether you agree with what Liverpool do or not, uh you you want to get the best deal, so you know fair play to Liverpool. So I I don't really know if this is a a video that you're finding of interest. Personally, to me, I do find uh, everything of interest. Um, I'm not sure I can add any more to it. The purpose of the video, if I'd have cut all of that out that I've just said to you, I could have made a video for twenty thirty seconds and said to you, just listen out to see if anyone's mentioned at Wolves to do with Liverpool, and if they are. 
in a few weeks time come back to me you know and maybe we can talk about a little bit more about it then uh, i have no reason to doubt uh, the person that's given me this information and, and it doesn't really matter whether you believe anything that i've just said right now or not whether you sound think it sounds like a load of shit that would be interested in pedro now it doesn't matter whether you believe that or not because the message here is just listen out to see if anything comes up with wolves that's it. If nothing comes up with Wolves, it doesn't mean it was bullshit. Maybe Liverpool just walked away from the idea. But if something does come up with Wolves next week or later in the month, maybe you'd look back and think, oh, do you know what I mean? So I tried to make this video for you yesterday and struggled with it because yesterday I was basing it on, a, on another email that was saying, you can say this, but you can't say that. And I was like, well, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because some of it is like, knowledge that I have anyway, regardless of what this person is saying to me. Today, I feel it's easier to talk a little bit to you uh, because of the new email that says Liverpool trying to get stuff done on the cheap. So if, if Liverpool are talking to Wolves, when I say if, a couple of weeks ago or last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, I believe Liverpool were talking to Wolves. And I do believe that they did speak to the agent of A. Nuri as well, all right? I don't know if that's continued since then, but I believe it up to that point. Now, I, I genuinely can't tell you whether I think they're speaking to Wolves or not. I don't know. And there's three options. One is the claim that's being made that it, the Liverpool are interested in Pedro Neto. The second option would be the defender, which I think, well, I don't think, we know that there's been interest there, but... I'm just not sure whether Liverpool will do that because of other things they're doing. Maybe that's something that might happen in the future. Uh, and there's obviously Gomez at Wolves as well, which I think, yeah, class player. That, you know, I would like a player like that, Liverpool, stuff like that. But that's more like just opinion and stuff, you know. So I don't know if I've done a very good job with this video. You have to tell me, you know. I'm not interested in the views of anyone that's just passing by. But I am interested in the views of you, my channel members, for example, they've got a little football next to the name. And if they say, no, it was all right video, then, you know, and not, not just channel members, but people that I'm used to seeing around here. Uh, if, if, it, if it's a shite video, tell me if I, if, if I am, you know, but I'm just kind of limited a little bit. And like I say, the message is just to say, um, just listen out for Wolves to see if it gets a mention. As, as yet, I'm not aware of anything mentioned to do with Wolves since Eight Nuri was linked with us several weeks back now, earlier in the window. So I'm not aware of anything to do with Wolves presently. So Liverpool might have walked away from, from the whole situation, but I don't know. Don't know, guys. So I just wanted to plant the seed and leave it with you. All right. So if you do appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. Please drop me a comment if you've got any views on this. I think most of you'd be like me, like, why are we looking at Pedro Neto? If it's true, even if it, maybe it's not true, you know, but we know he's look, we've looked at him before. Uh, and if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks button and um, I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow morning's briefing. We're going live on here at two o'clock this afternoon. If you want to follow up, we will talk about this at two o'clock this afternoon. If, you, if you're thinking to yourself, I've got an opinion, Dunk, about this, come along and tell me. Two o'clock UK and seven this evening. So either of those time slots, you know, so... Um, you know, you, you, you follow these accounts on, on social media and, you know, clickbaiting and everyone wants to tell you. If you think about it, these people all want to tell you and give you the impression they know what's happening. They Well, I've been here 26 years doing this shit and I can tell you right now, despite a network of friends, I call them friends, and people that are connected and that, you don't always know what's fucking happening, guys. You just don't. And it can be cryptic as fuck sometimes. So there's reality. So I'm saying to you, I ain't got a fucking clue whether the wolves are true or not. You know, whereas these people want you to think that they're, oh, I knew everything, you know what I mean? So this, on here, on this channel, on the members website, on coptalk.com, whatever, all you're going to get is total, like, truth. And I'll try and tell you the best as I can, you know, and I'm just passing on to you what's been said to me. And we'll leave it at that. All right. So thumbs up, comment, be a nice one. <laughs>